Hello YouTube and welcome to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. And today, the day this video airs, will be May 6th, my birthday everybody. So this is video number one of my Saturday video. So you guys know that on my Saturday videos I've been starting to concentrate for one month on one particular stamp set bundle suite the likeness and as i am recording this um in april i don't have any of the new product because i couldn't order it so i'm thinking what do i have that i know will be in the catalog um that i can work on for my may videos and i have cho chosen the color and contour bundle i think it is underestimated as far as the stamp set and dies the dies the the little scallop on the uh rectangle dies are used but as a whole i'm kind of thinking it's underused so i'm cho choosing to use it for my saturday videos so i hope you like this i am combining it with the kindness card kit which are these coasters um, I traded another demonstrator, a stamp set and dies for a kit, this kit. Um, and I am challenging myself. It's something that I didn't have, something I wasn't going to purchase, but I'm challenging myself to see what I can do with this kit. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to show you first. I have something to share with you. Miss Susie Q, if you're watching this from Canada. Thank you. I cannot tell you how much this card means to me on a day where I have been struggling in the last two weeks with just some um, hard decisions that had to be made. And um, this was so uplifting. This is going to go. Actually, I want to put it on my camera stand because I, I can't thank you enough. Um, I send a lot of cards. I don't receive a lot of cards. This is absolutely beautiful. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Suze. Susie, thank you so much. So I wanted to share how beautiful this is. And it, it's more than just, it, it, it's just very touching for me. So are we ready to see the card? So this is the color and contour stamp set. These are the dies. What are we using? We're going to use this little excuse me this little piece right here we're using this piece here and we're using this piece we are using the here for you now and in better days ahead this stamp this stamp this stamp and this stamp and this little stamp and i really really am happy with the card that um i came up with so this is my card Hoping you all can see this well. It is what they call one of those book folds, but it is absolutely beautiful. Um, wish I didn't have those shadows there. Let me see if I can adjust. Oh, I don't know why. I'm seeing shadows on my card. It's bugging me. So hopefully this is still, I'm checking. Let me move my camera. It might just be the lighting. Hopefully you can still see it. So anyways, I really, really am happy with this little card and it is using one of the coasters. Let me show you the kit. It's really kind of hard to see even for me in person and personally, mm, to me, it's lacking. Okay. The whole kit's lacking in something guys. Sorry, stamping up. I love you very much, but this this is lacking these little stickers i don't like them it just mm -mm. so it is a challenge for me and i'm very happy with um what i have come up with um this is my coaster magnet and my gatefold that i made for my first card video that i did this will air the first week you probably have already seen it if you watch all my videos this one will have aired before uh this card but i just wanted to uh show you what you can do with it 
Okay, so this kit, because I am showing you, yes, it's the kit. It has some great thank yous and kindness wins. You're so amazing, inspired by you. This one here, I want to use this so much. You shine like the stars. Have a great day. I love this, okay? I love this. I will be using this when I get a stamp set that's in the new catalog. I cannot wait to use that one. So what did this kit come with? Came with? Well, it didn't come with these little doohickeys. That was me trial and error. I thought I would keep it in the set. Okay. You want to know what problem my problem was with the kit? I'm being nitpicky. I'm so sorry, but it, it just... See how those cards do not fit all the way in this little tin. I love the little tin. Came with a little stamp block, a basic gray spot. But this, if it, they did it so you could, meant so you could pull them out, I understand. But this still, how it doesn't fit, bugs me. Um, not crazy about any of those. These, the stamping is not even all the way around these. So that, that bugs me a bit. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with that bit. Um, but the coasters, I like that they're on chipboard. I think they're beautiful. This I do like. Um, so we're going to go with, I got probably two more videos with using these. And then I'm going to come up with something with the box. Just not sure yet. Um, so let's get started. Here's the wee little spot. I'm going to stick that stamp set with the, hold on. I don't want, I'm not going to play any more today. <laughs> So that's got to go up. We're going to go over what you're going to need. You're going to need a card base that is Daffodil Delight. That's four and a quarter by 11. Scored it four and three quarters by five and a half. I'm going to cut my card stock and score it with you in person. Layer number one is basic white layer, which is different using basic white as a layer. At least for me, it is. It's three and three quarters by four and a half. You're going to need to cut two. One is for the inside. Our DSP paper. I originally was going to use this, but then when I did the card, I used this print. This is I'm not sure if it'll still be on the clearance rack, but it was a six by six pad of the bright um, DSP, which is retired. Any bright DSP that you have would work. So this is three and a half by four and a quarter. Um, and then we have a strip. You can see I used that scalloped die in the set. This is, was a one and a quarter inch strip by six. We will cut it down once we glue it in place. Um, we're using Flirty Flamingo Daffodil Delight and Memento Black Ink. We're using the Bow Punch, the Kindness Coaster Kit. We're using this particular coaster with all that gorgeous yellow in it. We are using scrap pieces of Pear Pizzazz, Flirty Flamingo, Basic White, and Daffodil Delight. Blends, I've used Daffodil Delight, Light Old Olive, and a Sponge Dauber. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, my mouth is getting dry. Just just going over everything. So let me put this to the side for a moment. Bring in, nope, my scrap people wanted to fly away. Let's put that over there. So we're going to bring in my cutter trimmer tool. Um, and I need to move this down. We are going to cut our cardstock, I said, at four and a quarter. So I'm going to do it this way. Four and a quarter. We're going to cut it straight down the middle. This I'm going to have for another card. So I'm going to turn it and I am going to score it now at four and three quarters, making sure that darker of the blades, let me get that flat, darker of the two blades is up at the top or out of the way completely. Lighter blade is your scoring blade. Then I'm going to move it down to five and a half and score. I don't need to do any more. I did on my original, but really you just need those two score lines. So that is all there is to this book fold. You can make this um, binding part of the book fold any size that you wish. Um, that is totally up to you. You can make it larger, smaller. I think this is uh, well small enough. I didn't want a big or large one. So fold over, fold it back. And then 
I'm going to do it just like I did it myself. So I am now going to put glue. You see, okay, here is that at four and three quarters. I scored that one folding back and then I scored five and a half like normal. I'm going to put glue on that section. And then I'm going to close her up. Now I have done some of the prep work, the die cutting I have done, but we need our Daffodil Delight and we need the splotchy image. The lighting is going bad in my room as far as the lighting from outside is going away. So I'm going to use my little uh, scratch paper and I am going to stamp this splotchy image just because I felt it needed some background and that's all I'm doing is making a background now it has this curve to it so I'm going to turn it and see this curve here I'm going to turn it so it fits in there like so and then down here I'm going to go like that up here it's just going to be the same curve now I'm going to turn it and go along this edge, the top edge, turn it, make it fit like a puzzle piece, basically. Right. So here I'm going to turn it again and just walk the stamp right down that side, making sure you hit all the edges. I don't need to put anything on the center part of this card as it does not need it. So that's all it is for this splotchy image, as I call it. You hear that squeak? I'm cleaning it off. Okay, so this is the book fold. Really easy, right? We're going to set that aside. And we have our white. We're going to set that aside. Next, we come to our DSP layer. I'm going to take my sponge dauber. And I am going to sponge all around all four edges of the DSP. Please don't tell me I lost something I did. Okay, so I'm going around and around and around we go. I mean, it's Wonderland, right? It's a time to play time to enjoy and boy Susie your card lifted my spirits I was having a hard time so thank you thank you thank you so this is now done we can um we'll go ahead and glue these together so we're gluing our DSP to the basic white layer Kind of hard gluing white on white. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, so this piece is now going onto our card base. Just like so. And that we can set aside. For the inside, I need my scratch paper. Um, we need this large flowery image here, and we're going to use black memento here in a second. But first, this little scallop detail, I need to figure out where I'm going to put it roughly. Okay. That looks good. So I want my flower... Well, maybe not. I want my flower to be in one of these divots. So right about there. Okay. So I'm going to put my finger where I said roughly the divot is in the DSP. And I'm going to hopefully get it close enough to where it looks like I want it to stamp that large three flower image. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, don't it rocked. That was such not a good thing. So now when I go to put this on there, 
Well, it may not be right where I want it. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll put it like that. I really wanted it in that divot. That's why this is long too, in case I made a boo-boo. So next, we're going to go ahead and glue this down. And yes, I know I'm using the opposite side, but that's because of the gorgeous. I'm just going to glue, cover that up for a minute. I'm going to put some glue right at the bottom because it's really nice and wide. And I want that divot where my flower is just because I do. Okay, now I'm going to pop it up like this, push it down. And we're going to trim our ends. I got two pairs of scissors for one. And you guys didn't see it. But the other pair flew up out of the container. And it landed on my arm. <laughs> oh, funny. All right. So there is how cute that is. Next, we're going to bring in our flirty flamingo. Because we're still working on the inside of our card. Let's see. Let's see that i don't know why the shadows are so bad right now it's probably the position of it the camera so we're taking our flowers right we're gonna stamp off we want them light enough that when we bring in the yellow on top of them that you'll get to see some of the yellow so i'm just gonna stamp it like so and it's meant not to be perfect so don't flip out it is meant to be that way and next I have my sponge dauber with that yellow I am not going to re-ink this I am just going to add a little bit around the edges outside edges of these blooming flowers because when we do the flower on the front you will understand so next, since we're here, we're going to take just that light old olive because we don't have a pear pizzazz and we're just going to do our leaves. I'm not doing any blending with this. I'm just doing light old olive. That's it. Nothing more, nothing more at all. Now for the inside of this card, it says and in better days ahead and this is in black memento and it is gonna go right here on that daffodil delight dsp and it really shows up nicely i like it that it's out of the way it still says what you want it to say but it is down here you could do that with happy birthday any you could do the same layout so okay we're done with this let's get that glued into our card That glue comes out really fast. So this is going now inside here. All right. Oh, Alice, you have ink on you. See that? Not, not good. Every time, guys. You know, and I clean that silly lid at that memento all the time, and it gets me. It never fails to christen me. Ugh. Okay, I'll work on that later. So, next we're going to work on... This is our coaster from the Kindness Card Kit, which is really a coaster kit. And I wanted to show you that I really did mean scraps. So, where are my dies? Oh. I mean, I took the smallest. Strip of paper. I stuck my die just this because I'm just using the smallest bit of this and I just did it like here's a piece that I did that piece here's one here for the other card I wanted to show you that I, when I say scrap I do mean scrap the scrap that will do the job and we're gonna use these you're gonna see why in a minute and it's just who I am um, and 
here is our flower and I'm going to show you more about that. But right now I have little dots. Oh, and I forgot I am cooking dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm surprised they all haven't come out and said, hey, what happened to you? You told us you'd be in and I got busy. This card came into my head and it's kind of like kept me occupied. So on basic white, I stamped. Because I tried to get some done. I stamped this. Then I stamped this in Flirty Flamingo. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do next with it. Next, I took the dark. I did a little bit of blending. And I did some of these little curly cues in the center of the flower with the dark daffodil delight. I came in with the light and just scribble, 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 scribble. You know me. I like to scribble. Then I came in with my daffodil delight sponge dauber. And I'm going on the outside of all of these petals. I should just turn the paper. I'm just brushing out, getting some lovely daffodil delight on this. And boy, it does make a difference. It makes it pop. It makes it sing. I tried daffodil delight. I didn't like that. It needed a little bit more color. So let's see, what are we on to next? Okay, what do we do with these pieces? Let me show you. So on this coaster, you will have your pointy end up and down and these that have a straight edge. This is where we're going to attach these little bits. So I'm gonna add some glue right here. And I just want that edge of those four scallops coming out of that side. I'm going to add a little bit of glue right there. And I'm going to try to pick it up. And I'm going to come on the other side. That's all I'm going to do with that little bit. That's why you just needed a teeny tiny bit of scrap. But now these surfaces are different um, sizes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with this scrap piece. I'm going to put that right there because I'm not putting dimensionals on this. I'm going to bring this little piece in. I'm going to add some glue there. I'm going to bring that one in. This one I might need a little less of. Well, can I tear it? Because otherwise, let's see, you can cut it, tear it, whatever you need to do. So I'm just using that little bit of scrap. So now I have a good majority of the surface of the coaster because I don't want to add any more dimensional to it than necessary because I'm putting a dimensional on the flower. So now I can come in with my glue and put it onto those bits of cardstock and it's going to be well and adhered easily and i'm gonna center it onto the dsp and i love that all that daffodil delight that bright beautiful color reminds me of my mom her favorite color was yellow so what do i have next i have that wonderful bow punch and i used literally scrap pieces you can see where it cut off this piece and cut off that piece so we have that. And do I want to wiggle them? Of course I want to wiggle. I didn't do that on my sample, but give it a little wiggle, except for the little one. Don't wiggle that one. Okay. We don't need to wiggle the one that's cut off because you're not going to see it. We'll probably end up cutting it off, but I don't think you'll be able to see it. So we're going to give those a wiggle. For this, I'm going to use the, put these acrylic nails to actually a good point. I am going to pull outward and curl using this nail of mine. <laughs> it works well for this. Not a whole lot else, okay? Or at least I'm just not good. And just curl those edges. You see that? And you can see this was scrap on the back. I had used it, flipped it over. So now we have these little bits. And once again, I wanted to show you a scrap piece, okay? Real scrap pieces is what I'm using. 
So next I have these pieces and we have in the stamp set this little stamp that actually goes in this bud, but we're going to use this to add flower um, color to our um, tip of these little flowers from the punch. And this works really, really well. So I'm going to ink this up and then I'm just using the curve edge. See how dark that is? I don't like it that dark. That's, oh, it might actually look really good. Okay, so the center one will do dark. The other ones I'm going to stamp off. Oh, so cool. This one didn't get any there. So the center one, we're going full strength. I missed a bit. Stamp off. There is a lighter and darker edge to this little petal, believe it or not. It's one of those distinctive stamps. What did I just drop? Oh, the lid to the glue bottle. It's nice to know it's down there. So there we go. We just colored our, if you can see this. Thank you, Ellen Woodbridge. She puts things on her hands. You can see the tone difference in the yellows. That's what we accomplished by stamping on it. So I'm going to set that aside just in case I want it again. And I'm going to put some glue in the center of this bow. And I'm going to glue these right down the center. So there's one. This is number two. And next, we're going to take these and put them straight line with that, um, just like so. Try to center them in the center of that little divot. So I'm just going to put a straight line here. There's one. Next one. I do try to do prep work so you guys don't have to, it doesn't take so long. Now I will need a dimensional. I chose to only use one. I don't think it needs more. I placed it in the center of the coaster and I'm placing my flower right there. I'm going to find the cap to the blue bottle for a second guys there it is okay so that crisis averted cap to the bottle is there next what do we have so on a very skimpy piece of um basic white i stamped here for you now in the black memento i am taking my sponge daba and i am going to flick did you hear that flicking motion all over the edges and it gets on the center too but i really like that of the here for you now part of it and we need a mini wee little dimensional to come join us on our adventure in card making thank you well the here for you now says i don't want to go there but you will so <laughs> I know. I'm. Thank you, Susie, because now I'm in such a much happier place. Thank you so much. Um, let's put the some glue on here, and then when I get done with this, I'm gonna go cook dinner for my family, watch my husband and my grandson play. I'm gonna go get stressed out trying to knit. I keep adding stitches, and I can't figure out why I keep doing it. Well, actually, I figured out why. I just need to now start my. Uh, project so here for you now and then when you open it and in better days ahead absolutely beautiful you need wink estella all over the center one and don't forget the inside shimmer and shine Next, we need some rhinestones, and I'm going to use stamping up rhinestone bling of some kind. Let's see what we got. 
my samples I tend to not who do I have enough of those no not quite what do I have pearls would actually be really pretty on that with the white let's go with that so these are the iridescent pearl basic jewels I haven't used many of these at all so because this card's going to cost me no matter what I think I want to do, I'm trying to figure out, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do two here because I'm doing it differently than the other one. So there's two and then I want a small one, a small one like right here and that little curve of the H. That is gorgeous. Ah, okay, I'm happy. I really am. I really, really like this card. It's bright. It's cheery. Um, whomever you were to send this card to, they would appreciate it and um, get to see, you know, that bright, cheery hug you're, you're sending them no matter what they are going for. Now I am choosing not to do an envelope on purpose because this card guys, I would want this to go in a clear envelope. All you would need to do is stick a piece in the mailer, or you could write the addresses on the back of the card. But for me, this is getting a clear envelope as it is so, so pretty bright and cheery. And I want the people to see it so there's my card and i hope you guys like this video i enjoyed making it and um give me a thumbs up let me know what you think and i would love to know how many of you out there have this uh bundle or if it's just something it's like oh that's nice to have and maybe you never put a lot of thought into it because i certainly have never used it as a bundle i've used it for a piece here or there but for a, a bundle in its own it's going to get its workout this month in may so come back and visit me in my wonderland bye bye now